Okay, we're going to just run you through a video of this first assignment. So um, I went up here and I have highlighted uh, where it says untitled and I've called it assignment one. You're going to have to show me these in your seats. Uh, I'm just going to walk around and you're going to show me what you've got. I said use a sprite other than the cat. So we're going to have to click on choose sprite from library. Doesn't really matter which one you choose just for ease. I'm going to choose an apple and say OK for right now. I'm going to erase the cat by right clicking on it, which is a two finger tap and I'm going to hit delete. So now I'm coding the apple. It asks for a backdrop. So I click on the backdrop. I hit new backdrop from file. And again, I'm not going to be too particular here. How about an apple on the desert? Because why not? OK, so you've now got a sprite from the library and you've got a desert. And now we're going to code for function movement in it. And then I'm going to add a costume. So since I went ahead to costumes tab, so here's scripts, here's costumes, here's sound. Scripts tabs, costume sound, tab sound. I'm going to go to costumes and I'm going to add uh, one costume change. Uh, of a combined costume. So I'm going to right click and say duplicate if I need to. Some of them will come with more than one costume, but since the apple didn't, I duplicated it by again a right click and then a menu came up and I said duplicate. Now I'm going to go get another one from file that I think will go with the apple. Uh, I guess I could put a plane or a ball or a balloon or a bell or anything else on it. I just don't know. I'm going to put a check mark on mine and say OK. And so I'm going to go to that second costume. I'm going to click on it so it highlights. And I'm going to grab check mark and I'm going to move it onto the screen. All right, good enough for me. I can always resize it if I want to corner push or corner pull a little bit. I just click on it and I corner push or corner pull a little bit. And that should, re oh, I resize the apple. So I'm going to bring the apple up. And maybe I'll just make the apple larger this time. Okay, so there I've got our costume involving a combined costume. I don't any longer need this one if I don't want it, so I can delete it. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to the original Apple anymore, and I'm going to code, code for function movement into it. So if we go to scripts, we're always going to start with when green flag is clicked. Well, maybe not always, but as often as possible, that's what we're going to start with. Noticing and saving changes right here. The save button is up here, and so if it hasn't saved, you can go ahead and click that, and hopefully this will end at a moment so I can go ahead and get started. But I'll, while it saves changes, I'll just continue. So when green flag is clicked, we're going to go to the control menu, and we're going to get a forever loop. Inside the forever loop, I'm going to take what's called a conditional statement, and I'm going to move it inside until it highlights inside. And now I'm going to go to the sensing menu and I'm going to say when green flag, I'm sorry, when uh, the right arrow key is held down. So up here uh, in your sensing menu, you'll see one that says key space is pressed. I'm going to drop that in there and instead of space, I'm going to choose the right arrow key. And down here uh, inside the code on motion menu, I'm going to say change X by positive 10. So what will happen here is the thing will hopefully... I don't know what's going on with this save and not save. We'll stop it for a minute, run the program, see if it works. Okay, so it moves right when I hold the right arrow key down. And so this is all you need to do. Um, the only difference with left, and I'm going to show you something else. We're going to right click and duplicate this. So we're just going to make another movement. We're going to change this to left. And then we're going to put in a negative 10 instead. Okay, so now. If I stop it and I run the thing again, my guy should be able to move left and right, which is one of the things I'm looking to do. All right, uh, so now I can move left, I can move right. Uh, I'm going to leave up and down out of this video, but I'll give you the basic concepts. You're going to duplicate these, and instead of right arrow, you're going to say up or down arrow. And instead of X, notice down here there's one that says change Y. Y is going to be vertical movement. You're going to do that. Okay. One thing we might do to start it off the program is if we want him in the dead center of the screen to start off with, we put a go to statement up here. And in our go to statement, we are going to enter the coordinate 0, 0, which is the dead center of the screen. So every time the thing starts, it'll go to the center of the screen. Okay. So that's the movement part. And now let's get the costume change. Uh, I could do this, I guess, several different ways, but we just going to change costume. Go ahead on an arrow click too, or on some sort of click. So let's go duplicate. And then this time we'll go when space bar is held down. And instead of this change X by 10, we're going to go over to the looks menu, which is purple. And we're going to tell it to switch costume to Apple II. If we're not sure that Apple II is the right one, then we go back to costumes and we say, yep, I do want it to switch to Apple II. 
Now, the other thing that also is necessary then, we're going to go back to the very beginning again, and we're going to switch costumes to Apple One. This is called initializing costumes. Okay, so now off the very beginning, it'll always go to the center of the picture, and it'll always go to the Apple co uh, costume. I've told it left and right, and I want you to code in right, uh, or I'm sorry, up and down. And then I just went ahead and put in with space bars, press switch costume to Apple II, which is the one that we created that had two sprites in it. So if I run this program here, I can go left and right. Hopefully yours will also go up and down. And if I hit the space bar, it changes into the other costume that I was looking for. And that'll be the end of your first program. Thanks.